and also with you, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask the Secretary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, protect us in our struggle against evil as we begin the discipline of Lent. Make this day holy by our self-denial. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Close to 
were ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us, we implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so now that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he said, in an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold now in a very agreeable time, behold now in the day of salvation, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Ash Wednesday is one of the busiest days in the church's liturgical year. Bishop George and Brother Jeedy were up very early this morning out on the train station platform giving uh, ashes. Later they had mass here. Later they went to the detention center in Essex County. And later they went to the mental hospital in Essex County. Any place else, Brother Jeedy? Van Dyke Manor. So Bishop George has gone to rest. <laughs> I thought he might stay, but he was tired. And um, he gave me the morning off. I was supposed to go, but uh, because I had been uh, recovering from a bad cough and cold, he said, well, you take the mass and I'll take it off in the evening. So, um, Yesterday was his birthday, by the way. I hear they did actually sing Happy Birthday on Sunday because I wasn't here. But um, during this Mass, I would like to remind, uh, remember him in our prayers as well because he's certainly a great example for us. In churches all over the world today, Christians are getting their free ashes as a sign that they are willing to repent give service to the Lord. Uh, somebody asked me, where did these ashes come from? So I just would mention that these ashes were from the palms, from last year's Palm Sunday, that were burned and then blessed and mixed with a little special chrism oil. So the bishop did that and he left us some, and I'll be blessing some, and after my little talk, we will then hand them out to you. And Brother Jeannie, you will give me them first. Yes. Okay? Yeah. All right, so I'll be first online. <laughs> okay. This day begins Lent, a period of the year where fasting, almsgiving, and acts of sacrificial giving are presented to our Lord to ask forgiveness for our sins and those committed in our world. It's a time when we bow down in humility to our Creator and ask for His mercy and thank Him for sending His only Son to pay once and for all for the sins of mankind. In today's readings, we're urged to go about quietly doing good so that not even our right hand knows what our left hand is doing. When we were children, we were often told to give up candy for Lent and give the money to the rice bowl charity so that the orphan children in China or other, other faraway countries and poor people in our own country in need of food and shelter would have a little bit more to eat. But as we grow up, giving up candy does not seem a worthy sacrifice for adults. Or maybe it is, <laughs> since sweets can often spell trouble for adults, especially for us who are overweight. <laughs> I think that these acts of denial are good, but I think that the Lord wants us to do positive acts of service to others. Perhaps instead of giving up something, you ought to think about giving yourself to others especially to those that you don't necessarily like. Here in the parish, in work or at school, be ready with a smile. Don't show people a depressed face, but be more positive and friendly during these weeks, especially to those you may not like so much. Jesus is telling us that he does not want us to go around trumpeting the good that we do, or looking like we're in sackcloth and ashes as we go through the penitential season. If you make this effort during Lent, your Easter will be happier, and your days will be surely blessed. Because you will have helped Christ with his sufferings. They say that from the cross, 
he could see down through time all the evil that was going to happen in the world, but also the good that his followers were going to do. And so he was consoled by our loyalty and our stick to witness. I urge you to give some thought to what you are going to do for Lent to lighten the Lord's burden on Calvary. He will know of your efforts and praise you for your perseverance through these 40 days. Now, that's my speech. <laughs> but I want to tell you one or two other things. Number one, I am going to give up revenge on Sunday nights. <laughs> and I'm going to use it for some spiritual reading. And I suggest that you might look into some spiritual reading by Joseph Gerzone, G-I-R-Z-O-N-E, his book called Never Alone is a Wonderful Beginning Spirituality, and his books called the Joshua Series tells you what Jesus was like in various settings, modern settings. So for example, at one book he has Jesus down in Atlanta in an area that has to be redeveloped, has a lot of slums and so forth. Another book he has Jesus in a peace conference with the Arabs and the Jews. Now that's one author, Joseph Prezone. Now Judy, my wife, who is a wonderful reader, and outstrips me in all ways, brought about a dozen books of Henry Nouwen. Now Henry Nouwen was a priest from Belgium who came, he was very scholarly and so forth, and he studied even and taught in Harvard University. But at some point in his life, he decided that all of his scholarly honors was not for him, and he moved into a home called La Arche in Montreal. And this was a home for developmentally disabled people. And he was given charge of one particular man called Adam. And there is a book, I think, uh, uh, back there about Adam and his life. And he, he never felt so fulfilled as to when he was taking care of Adam's needs. So there are books out back there uh, from Henry Nouwen. He's a wonderful spiritual writer, and you're uh, free to take them home, read them, share them with other people. So rather than leave you just generally that you should read, here are some examples. Father Joseph Garzon, Father Henry Nouwen, and another one, Robert Wicks. Robert Wick's Everyday Simplicity, wonderful little book. Another book he has is Prayerfulness. These are small books. I'm not a fast reader, so I like small <laughs> readings. <laughs> Maybe we can all get into it, but I leave them as suggestions for you for your land. And now I wish that God will bless you, and we will bless the wishes. Brother G. Dear friends in Christ, let us ask our Father to bless these ashes which we will use as the mark of our repentance. Lord, bless the sinner who asks for your forgiveness, and bless all those who receive these ashes. May they keep this Lenten season in preparation for the joy of Easter. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. 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 You'd like to come first on St. Joseph's side and then Blessed Virgin's side. <clears throat> Turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. Turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. Turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. gather and prepare. Let us all join with one another and sing number 349, Change Our Lord, 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 Lord,
that the Holy Spirit makes us to be a beacon of hope to all who come to worship and give us strength to serve poor and needy. We pray. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For all our elected leaders in our community, state, and national levels, that they would work to relieve the burdens of the widow and the orphan and make justice their aim, we pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those who care for the elderly and sick, that the Lord fill them with compassion for those entrusted to them and for the sick. And are there any for whom we should especially remember? For Jim? For Mamita? Donald Fairweather? Joseph Marasco? The Reverend Jansen Stringer? We pray. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Remember that we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. We pray to the one who conquered sin and death to grant life to those who have died. And are there any whom we should especially remember? George Maravilla. Maria Ricardo. We pray, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Dear Lord, please listen to our petitions as they go before your altar in heaven. May they come about through the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Amen. Now, as our gifts are gathered and prepared, let us all join with one another and sing number 349, Change Our Hearts. That's number 349. Change our
by the blood of his cross. He took the cup filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks, handed the cup to his friends and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Let us pray with confidence to the Father and the words our Savior gave us.
forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Yes. Behave yourself. Yes. <laughs> 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 I love that. I have a question. American National Catholic Church, everyone is invited to come to the table of the Lord to receive the body and the blood of Christ. <laughs>
Yeah.